we are all familiar with the use of a rudder which helps in turning a ship as and when required rudders are the principal system for the entire motion and control of the ships but we must not forget that the entire rudder action is dependent on another pivotal system called the steering gear the steering gear system has been an indispensable part of the ship's machinery since the advent of the very early ships which were operated by hand as ships continued to grow in size and became faster modern systems using human effort were incorporated there are two types of commonly used steering gear systems one being hydraulic and the other being electro hydraulic type the main control of the steering operations is given from the helm of any ship similar to an automobile where the entire control of the vehicle's steer ability rests on the steering wheel of the driver the control force for turning is triggered off from the wheel at the helm which reaches steering gear system advanced electro hydraulic systems are predominant in ships nowadays Actuators are now mainly electrically driven by power units. These actuators in turn can be of two types: piston and cylindrical arrangement, vane type rotor. In this video, we are discussing the hydraulic ram type steering gear. There are four hydraulic cylinders attached to the two arms of the actuator disc on both sides. These cylinders are directly coupled to electrically driven hydraulic pumps which generate hydraulic pressure through pipes. This hydraulic pressure field present in the pumps imparts motion to the hydraulic cylinders which in turn corresponds with the actuator to act upon the rudder stock. The sense of turning this rudder is guided by the action of the hydraulic pump. The physics behind its function can be explained better with the help of the following figure. Here the cylinders denoted 1 and 3 are connected to the discharge side of the pump. This generates a positive pressure in the piston cylinders. On the contrary, the other two cylinders 2 and 4 are connected to the suction side of the pump. this creates a negative pressure in the cylinders the resultant forces create a clockwise moment in the rudder to put it simply positive and negative pressures from the pumps generate lateral forces on the ramps which create a couple for turning the rudder stock similarly to put it in an anti clockwise turning sense the reverse is carried out that is the discharge ends of the pumps are connected to the cylinders 2 and 4 while the suction side of the pumps is to 1 and 3 this reverse pressure flow from hydraulic pumps is achieved with the help of control valves operated from the wheel house the ram type steering gear arrangement produces a considerably high value of torque for a given applied power The hydraulic oil pressure varies from 100 bars to 175 bars depending on the size of the rudder and torque required. As per Solas requirements, all tankers of more than 10,000 gross tonnage and all other 70,000 gross tonnage vessels should have a safematic steering gear. arrangement should be there to isolate the fault and continue using the steering system in an emergency to avoid total failure of the steering system automatic isolation and bypass valves are introduced to the system under normal conditions one pump satisfies the need of all four ramps in case of leakage the system level switch gets activated starting the standby pump and raises the alarm but if a further leak persists in the system it initiates the bypass and isolation valve now the steering gear runs on 50% of its torque 
isolating the faulty set of ramps. Now the other system without a leak will operate the pump and the ram associated with it will move as per the desired command. The efficiency of the performance of steering gear depends on some main aspects. These basic requirements to be invariably met by all steering gears are guided by rules set by classification societies. They can be briefly outlined as as per standard requirements, the steering gear should be capable of steering the ship from 35 degrees port to 35 degrees starboard and vice versa while the vessel plying forwards at a steady head-on speed for maximum continuous rated shaft RPM and summer load waterline within a time frame of maximum of 28 seconds. With one of the power units in operative, the rudder shall be capable of turning 15 degrees port to 15 degrees starboard and vice versa within a time frame of 1 minute with the vessel moving ahead at half its rated maximum speed or 7 knots, whichever is greater at summer load line. The major power units and the control systems are to be duplicated so that if one of them fails, the other can easily substitute for them as standby. The steering gear system is to be provided with an additional power unit, hydraulic pump, etc. connected to the emergency power supply from the emergency generator, which shall be capable of turning the rudder from 15 degrees from one side to the other side within 60 seconds with the vessel moving at a maximum service speed or 7 knots, whichever is greater. The hydraulic steering gear system is critical machinery on board whose operation knowledge is extremely important for the safe navigation of the ship. Now that we know the significance of steering systems in ships and the importance of their safematic designs, we come to the end of this video. Thank you all for watching.